Okay, y'all. So we're going to look at this problem right here that says x to the fourth. And we have a negative 16. All it tells us to do is to factor this right here. So what we should notice is that our x to the fourth, that that's a squared term, 16 is a squared term, and that there's a negative sign, which would be a difference. So we have something squared, something else squared, and a negative sign in between them. So this would be a difference of squares. And then remember, there's like a little template that you can use. Two sets of parentheses, one's negative, one's positive. It does not matter which one it is. And then our a squared, we're actually going to like take the, the square root of it. What times itself equals a squared? That would be a times a, right? A times a, if we did FOIL, a times a would get us back to a squared. And then do the same thing right here. What times itself would equal b squared? b times b. Okay, so we're actually gonna use this for this right here. So I'm going to do my two sets of parentheses. One's negative, one's positive, it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna look and see what times itself would give me x to the fourth. Well, I know I have my x variable, right? And then two times two would be x to the fourth if I went back and foiled this, right? x times x would be x. Because they're both squared, we do x squared times x squared would be keep your variable, add your exponents. Sorry, I kind of stuttered there a little bit. And then what is um, the square root of 16, or what times itself equals 16? That'd be four and four, right? So you would think, okay, awesome. Like I've done with this problem, I can move on. That's not necessarily the truth. This first factor right here with these terms, x squared minus four, if you look at them individually, I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. Oh. Okay, that happened. Let me try to zoom out a little bit. I guess it just kind of has a mind of its own. So perfect, we're just gonna stay there. This first right here, set of parentheses, x squared is a square, four is a square, and there's a negative sign. So I actually am gonna apply this again. And so I'm gonna do my template. This, I can't do anything with it. That positive sign right there keeps me from being able to further simplify that. So I'm actually just going to bring it down. Then my template says one's negative, one's positive. What times itself would be x squared? That would be x. What times itself gives me four? That would be two. Now this is my final answer. Right there. So x minus two times x plus two times x squared plus four is this binomial completely factored. Okay.